Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and I am super excited to share this vlog slash announcement video with you. So this is actually the first video of Vlogist. Um, and I've decided to do one upload a day for every single day of August. I'm calling it Vlogist. It's not all vlogs, but I will expand on that in a minute. So I've never done anything like this before and I just wanted to give myself like a fun challenge and to be able to connect with you all more like every single day on YouTube here which I think sounds really cool and I actually just celebrated three years on YouTube which is crazy it doesn't seem like it's been that long um, so I just thought now is kind of the perfect time to do this um, to just try something completely new on this channel and that is the plan for August. So what can you expect from Vlogist? I will be uploading one video every single day um, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's my plan. I'm sticking with it. I didn't really know what to call this series, so I landed on Vlogist because it sounds kind of, you know, catchy, but it's actually not going to be all vlogs. I actually have a pretty fun mixture of all different types of videos that I love to share on my channel. Um, so yeah, there's going to be something different every day. So I want to share the vloggist schedule with you. So there's going to be new fashion and capsule wardrobe related videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I know that these are probably your favorite types of videos if you watch my channel. Um, so I wanted to challenge myself to share a lot more of them. Also, we're in like the last month-ish of summer and I have so much like summer fashion content that I really wanted to do and just didn't get around to because this summer has been crazy so far. So now I finally have time so I'm just stuffing it all into one month. <laughs> And then Tuesdays are going to be productivity slash organization slash content creation videos. So these are some of my favorite videos to make actually. It's one of my favorite topics to talk about on my blog, on my newsletter. And I really wanted to be able to share more of that type of content with you here on YouTube if that's something you're interested in. I think a lot of people who, you know, watch my channel and who I talk to on Instagram are fellow content creators, online creators. Um, so I want to be able to share everything that I've learned in my few years as a content creator with you all. I just shared um, a video on this recently and I feel like you guys really liked it. So I want to share more of that with you all. Thursdays are going to be beauty videos. So this is something that I haven't shared as much of on my YouTube channel, but I actually do really enjoy talking about clean beauty and skincare and makeup over on my blog and on Instagram. So I want to be able to share more of that with you in this space as well. So I'm really excited to be adding this new topic onto my YouTube channel. And Saturdays are reserved for lifestyle type videos. So I'm intentionally keeping that pretty vague, but I feel like Saturday is like the perfect day of the week to watch a video just really chill a relaxing video about how to you know enjoy your life more and be more mindful in your daily life and then Sundays are going to be vlog days so I'll be sharing weekly vlogs that's my plan anyways right now possibly like a daily vlog if I'm particularly busy um, and I'm actually filming the first one right now and I'm really excited to share it with you all it's gonna be a good one so if you're interested in following along on this little experiment with me, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications when I upload every single day. So that is all for my little announcement. Um, and I hope that you guys are as excited about this as I am. It should be a lot of fun. So today is Tuesday, um, July 27th, and August is going to be kind of crazy with Vlogist, so I am trying to film some videos in advance and get a little bit ahead of schedule. Hopefully, that's the plan anyways. Um, yeah, today we went to the airport pretty early in this morning to drop my dad off. He's flying back to San Diego today. And yeah, the rest of the day, I'm just going to be pretty much working at my computer. I feel like I've had a very productive morning already. Um, I've been waking up a little bit earlier, like at 5 a.m., which I will be sharing about in my <laughs> upcoming weekly vlog. Also, I wanted to mention that the past two videos that I've uploaded have kind of been out of order. So uh, my previous video was a vlog, which I actually filmed at the beginning of July. And if you watched that video, you might have noticed that I've been a little bit down and like not as productive as I would like to be and was kind of hitting like a burnout with work. <clears throat> so I did my mid-year check-in, which is I um, explain basically how I did that in that vlog and it's really helped me so much like I feel so much more 
um, just like clear headed about work things and more well rested and more like I have like work life balance again which might disappear going into August now but we'll see um yeah so I feel like the changes that I made in that vlog really helped me and also they influenced what I shared in the video before that which I actually filmed after that vlog if that makes sense so I made some changes to the way that I create content and scheduled my weeks and it's been super helpful so I hope that makes sense. Those videos were actually like flipped and I got a little bit behind because I was waiting for this external hard drive to show up to my house. So I couldn't edit that video and get it out, but it's all done now. So that's all that matters. Yeah, but basically the stuff that I talk about in that vlog has helped improve my schedule and given me more of like a work-life balance, which is why I feel like I can now take on the big project that is Vlogist. So that's basically why I shared all of that. If you're interested, I'll link it on the screen so you can watch that. And I'm feeling so much better now, so I'm going to get to work today. I have to shoot something that just came in. It's actually something that I really want to show you all because I'm super excited about this piece that I just received. So I'm going to shoot some photos of that. I also wanted to show you my room because I actually rearranged things in here over the weekend. We had our house painted and my room did not get painted because I painted it uh, when I did my room refresh. But I wanted to move some things around in here and I really like the, to the changes that I made. It's very small changes, but I feel like it's made a big difference. Um, and now there's like some fresh energy in here, which is helping me work better. So I'll show you guys that now. <laughs> So here is the little tripod that I just had my camera on and I moved my desk over here. This is my little filming setup for the first part of the vlog. My desk used to be in this corner close to the window and I actually scooted that over here so that there's more space in the window which is nice because I usually film myself with like natural light and when my desk was right there it was just a little bit too close to the window so it was hard to film in that corner so I really enjoy this now just the extra space feels a bit more spacious in here my mirror is still in the same place this is my oh my goodness I'm wearing socks and sandals how embarrassing <laughs> this is my really casual outfit that I actually was wearing this morning um, when I went to the airport really early and I just have not changed out of it so yeah real life outfit right here and so the main change that I made in here is I just moved my bed, which used to be against this wall here. I moved it into this corner, which I've actually done in the past too. I kind of don't love it here because last time I moved my bed here, I kept my desk here. So it's just extremely crowded in this corner of the room. And I still don't really like how that is there, but it's not as bad if the desk is moved. I hope that makes sense. I also don't love like sleeping with this over my head, but I, I just kind of needed to do it while they were painting the house. So, and now I kind of like it actually. I put my jewelry um, thing up there just for the time being, but I will move that back down to my dresser. Yeah, so now my bed is against the wall and that frees up all of this space in the front of my room over here. And yeah, the dresser is still in the same place. I moved around some of the stuff on it. This is some natural um, eucalyptus that I actually bought when I was redoing the living room, when I was doing the living room refresh, and I just really like how it looks. I love dried eucalyptus, so nice. This is some stuff that needs to be stored, like jewelry boxes and random things. So yeah, I do really like having extra space in here now. It's very comfortable. And also it's kind of nice to not have my desk right next to the um, window anymore because it kind of distracted me a little bit and it got quite warm over there. It's just like scooted over a little bit more, but I actually really like it there now. So now I'm going to show you the piece that I arrived in the mail yesterday that I am so, so, so excited about. This is the Tradland Shelter Cardigan, which I actually own in like the ecru color and I wear it all the time. Like... I literally wear it at least once a week, every week, for the past, I think, year since I've had it. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite things in my closet, like, by far. And so, yeah, I decided to add this second color to my collection of Tradlands pieces. 
and um, I work with Trad Lens too, so they really kindly gifted me this, and it's just gorgeous. I love the color so much. I knew I wanted to get this like lovely like burnt orange color. Uh, on camera, it's looking more orange, but it's uh, more of like a deep chestnut brown color in real life, I would say. I also went with a size small instead of medium. In Trad Lens, I usually order a medium because I do like my pieces to be more of a relaxed fit most of the time, um, but all of their pieces already have a sort of oversized shape to them, or at least a lot of them do. So um, this one I knew that I wanted to try the size small in because it is an oversized shape. Let me try it on and show you all. Like those of you who have seen my styling videos know I don't wear a lot of color, but when I do, like it's it has to be a color that I just love. And the Tradlands colors, like the Tradlands is one of those brands where I just really always love the colors that they choose. So it's a slightly more cropped and relaxed fit than my Ecru one, which I just wear non-stop and I mean this is just a very autumnal outfit this is a very like student like college student outfit too but ignore the socks and Birkenstocks this this combination the black and white stripes and this burnt orange cardigan like this just screams autumn to me so I think I'm going to change out of these sweatpants into I think possibly some light wash denim and then um, take pictures of this Okay, this is a little bit better. <laughs> um, yeah, I just threw on my Levi wedgie jeans, which I'm sure you all have seen before. Very comfortable. I may change the shoes, but I kind of like this outfit. Actually, like this looks like something I would have worn in college or honestly like any time in the past five years after that too, but it's just so, it reminds me of like back to school or something. So I also need to move this box behind me and this um, bag that slept over from use it as a gift bag that box has things that I have not unpacked since November I just don't know where to put them they're mostly books it's mostly storage stuff do you all have that kind of stuff where you just like it just stays in a box after you move for a long time because <laughs> you don't really need it but you still have to hold on to it So I just finished the photos and that was actually super fast. I love how they came out too, just from what I can tell looking at the pictures on the camera. Um, yeah, I shoot all of my blog and Instagram content on this camera for the most part. This is the Canon 5D Mark IV. It's the most incredible camera ever. It's like my dream camera. And then I have like a 50 millimeter lens on it. It's the Canon 50 millimeter f1.4. Um, so this like camera and lens combination are just so amazing and they make my job so much easier too. I love this sweater by the way. It's really warm and comfortable. A little bit too warm right now because we're still very much in the middle of summer here in the southeast. But I wanted to show you what the other one looks like on just to do like a comparison um, between sizes. If you're kind of in between sizes like I am too or if you tend to like size up in things. You probably have all seen... Um, my uh, white cardigan that I wear all the time, if you watch my videos, because it's like in almost every video that I post. But this is a size small, so it comes to about right below like my, like right about around my hip area. It's a bit boxier of a fit, um, and just a bit more fitted like all around, but it still has that nice like relaxed style to it. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the Ecru color one that I have in a size medium for a kind of side-by-side -side comparison. So here's the other cardigan. So it's definitely a bit boxier like on the shoulders. Um, the sleeves are definitely longer and a little bit wider. And then actually like the length of it is really similar. I didn't, I remember it being longer for some reason. And this is the Ecru, so it's like a, an off-white basically, which you can tell against my shirt, which is stark white. Um, yeah, it's definitely like wider in this area too. So I really like how like cozy this one feels. Um, but if you are looking for something a little bit more fitted, 
I would say just go with your usual size. If you're in between sizes, probably size down because these do fit a little bit um, larger anyways. I'm not, I'm really not opposed to like owning two of the same items in my closet and just knowing how often I was wearing this sweater since I got it, like I knew that having a second one of these would be completely fine with me. So I'm all done taking pictures now and I think I'll just be sitting at my desk for the rest of the day. It's about almost 1.30 now and I need to write my newsletter which is going out on Monday. Um, yeah, my monthly newsletter. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to it, I'll leave that link in the description box if you're interested. I share a lot of like lifestyle and organization, productivity, and content creation tips in that newsletter. And I think I mentioned that in my last video too, but if you're interested, definitely sign up. It goes out on the first Monday of every month and it's a fun little newsletter. Um, so check the description box there. Um, so yeah, other than that, I just have a lot of like video and photo editing to do. I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to edit all of my photos from my summer 30 by 30 caps wardrobe, which I will be sharing every day this month on Instagram. Yeah, so there's a lot going on this month, but I'm really happy that I chose to do Vlogist because it's just made me feel so excited again about work now that I'm finally back and have the ball rolling. I hope you all enjoyed this little announcement video slash mini day vlog. Um, yeah, let me know if you're excited for Vlogist 2 or if there's any like videos that you want to see. I would love your suggestions. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and hit that bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any of the Vlogist videos. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Oh, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Even better. Bye!